to me, reward and punishment, the way the mystics explain it, is cause and effect. It's no different than when you put your hand in fire and your hand gets burned. It's not the fire is punishing your hand. It's cause and effect. When a person lives a virtuous life, a life that is consistent with their soul's needs, not just their body's needs, a life that's not just narcissistic, but also one driven by higher purpose and a calling, the soul rewards you. But not as a reward in a tit-for-tat. It's like exercise. You exercise your body, your body rewards you. Your body will behave as it should behave. When a soul is fed, it then lives up to its, it, it is in its natural waters. So it's not about punishment, and it's, it's about consequences of behavior. It goes like this. We have love inside of us. When you're a loving person, you exercise that love inside of your soul, so your love becomes a healthier love. If you don't act loving, what you're doing is like you're eating poison. You're poisoning the love inside your soul. So it's not like someone's judging you or, 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 uh, or punishing you. It's rather simply cause and effect. Parts of us are nourished when we behave a certain way. The soul is a, is a virtuous force. It's a force for good. When you behave good, the soul expresses itself. When you don't behave good, the soul is locked up. When it's locked up, there are consequences. So we, how we see it is this, is that when the person comes to the end of life, as we know it in this stage of life, and the, soul, the box and the electricity separate, and the body leaves the soul, the soul leaves the body, rather, what really happens is the soul then comes back to its moment of truth. In the body, it can be distracted and can be live kinds of, all kinds of sideshows. But then the soul goes to the moment of truth. The moment of truth is how have you lived your life? So that's how I would define Judgment Day. It's really c coming to a moment of reckoning.